They say sports is like a balm. Even in the worst of times, just look at your sports team. Maybe you'll feel better. But if you're in Pakistan, I wouldn't advise that. Their cricket team is in India for the World Cup, and so far, things haven't clicked for them. They've lost three matches on the trot. First to India, the second to Australia, and the third to Afghanistan yesterday. And that last one was a stunning World Cup upset. Pakistan is ranked number two in the world. Afghanistan is ranked ninth. So for them to beat Pakistan is massive. It was Afghanistan's first ever victory over their neighbor. And it wasn't just about the win. It was about how they won. A comprehensive victory by eight wickets. The crowd in Chennai was ecstatic. In fact, that's been a feature of all Afghanistan matches. The Indian crowd has been right behind them, whether it's turning up in Afghan colors or holding up their flag or cheering for every wicket. You've spoken about people-to-people -people relations between India and Afghanistan. Well, this is it. Plus, Afghanistan has been playing quality cricket. You see, most upsets are miracles. There's always one or two moments that swing the momentum, moments that you don't expect. But this match was not like that. Afghanistan dominated from ball one. It never looked like they would lose. Now, we could dissect what went wrong for Pakistan. We could discuss the technicalities, but frankly, it's pointless because their former players are already doing it, and there is no way we can top them. Listen to this. हम चीखे मार रहे हैं शो पे तीन हफ्ते से कि दो साल से इनका फिटनेस टेस्ट नहीं हुआ अब मैं लड़कों के लड़कों के इंडिविजुअल नाम लू इतने इतने उनके मुंह हुए हैं लगता है रोज कोई अठ अठ किलो कढ़ाई खाने ने निहारिया खाने ने भाई कोई टेस्ट भी तो होना चाहिए अब इन प्रोफेशनली यू गाइज अपटिंग पेड प्लेइंग फॉर योर कंट्री एंड देर हैज टू बी अटन क्राइटेरिया अफगानिस्तान टीम इन स्टेड द कंट्री हैज बिन थ्रू अट ऑफ trouble in the last couple of years in 2021 the taliban captured power they turned the clock back to the late 20th century no sports no women's rights no financial opportunities nothing cricket was a bit of an exception the women's team was completely stamped out most of the players now live in australia but the men's team somehow survived the players are now based in the united arab emirates until last year they played their home games in india but in 2022 they struck a new deal with the uae so uae is now their designated home Every other team can play in front of their home crowd. They can host bilateral series, but Afghanistan cannot. Even their so-called home games are abroad. And think about the players. Many of them have families back home, like Rashid Khan. He's arguably the most popular Afghan cricketer, but in 2021, his family was stranded in Afghanistan. Can you imagine the horror? I'm sure most Afghan cricketers have a similar story, and despite that, they push on. You heard Pakistani veterans mocking their team's fitness. You won't hear that about Afghanistan. Their players have put in the hard yards. They've combined talent with hard work, and now you see the results. Pakistan was actually Afghanistan's second victory in this tournament. The first was about was against England, the defending ODI champions. Talk about historical revenge. These are two countries that shaped Afghanistan's history, and not in a good way. The English invaded Afghanistan in the 19th century. Pakistan created the Taliban. So I guess yesterday's win was sweet revenge. It also tells you how skilled this team is. These are not fluke performances. They have shown consistency. We keep hearing that cricket teams represent the hopes of their people, like here in India. We say the men in blue represent a billion hopes. But in Afghanistan, cricket may be their only hope. And that's a different level of pressure. You know your country is already suffering from the Taliban, from earthquakes, from poverty. So there is added pressure to do well, to give your people something to celebrate. It's a pressure that these players are mindful of. As you said, uh, it does mean a lot back home to the people uh, of our country. Uh, as you know, as we all know the situation back home, uh, the earthquake also a few days ago hit. And there is not a lot of uh, happiness in the country without cricket. So uh, at least we have given them some moments of uh, happiness to, uh, tonight. Even the logistics is messed up. The Taliban fired the Afghan cricket board chief in 2021. The board is now controlled by the Taliban. Yet the team plays under the old flag, the green, black and red one not the Taliban's official flag. Why do you think that is? Because even the Taliban recognizes the importance of this team, they're national heroes. After yesterday's result, the Taliban congratulated them. It said, the victory showed Afghans can win in any field. And we agree, Afghans can win in any field. The only thing holding them back is the Taliban. Yesterday's match showed the power of sports. It made an entire country forget their troubles. Afghans hit the streets, 
dancing and singing. For a brief moment, it was like the last three years did not happen. Yet, sports cannot erase reality. The same celebrations were proof of that. Because you heard firecrackers on one side and AK-47 gunfire on the other.